Good morning, Birmingham. It's a beautiful day here in Hoover, Alabama. And we are at the Econo Lodge in Hoover, which when I moved here in 1976 was a Ramada Inn, but was originally built as the Heritage House. And it really was uh, kind of a bright, shining jewel. There's I-65. As we talked about in a previous video, the interstate used to end here. I believe uh, that was because of Governor George Wallace. Some of you older viewers can fill us in on exactly why the interstate ended here. But it was a 100-room hotel. And uh, this barrister's tavern used to be called the Last Shot Lounge. And there was also a restaurant here uh, called the Lamplighter. I can only assume it was over here where the old Waffle House used to be. And now, uh, I think it's Wings King or something is over here to the right. I never went to the Lamplighter, but if anybody has any memories of it, I'd be curious to hear about those. But um, this thing changed over the years. You know, it, it became uh, the Ramada in 1970. And I don't know how many people remember, but in 1978, there was a bank robbery and uh, the suspects kind of held out up here and um, kind of a big event. But of course, that event was overshadowed by uh, what happened here January 16th, 2010. And real tragedy for the city of Hoover, uh, for all of Alabama, really. Four young ladies from the um, uh, Mississippi University for Women in Columbus uh, perished here in a fire. And the upper level was destroyed and what was left of it was, was leveled. Um, really a, a, just a, obviously a tragic, tragic event. Uh, they were trapped. I think they, say they went to the re uh, bathroom for refuge and uh, were killed there. And so uh, they never rebuilt the upper level. But I did notice that they've taken the barrier down and I was curious what it looks like up there and I thought if I'm curious about what it looks like up there maybe someone else might be and so I thought we'd go up there together and just have a look around I'm not expecting much but I'm kind of curious like that Barristers uh, was kind of popular for karaoke for a good long time so what does head up here I have to assume the lamplighter was here. I can't imagine where else it could be. But I just don't remember going there. I don't remember anything about it. So here's the barrier. And it looks like the lands were safe. But this really was, you know, for people going to the beach or whatever down 65, it was a natural stopping point along with the, uh, along with the Holiday Inn across the street. Let's see if I navigate all this. Wow. So I think this was the maintenance shed up here. And I imagine, so right across the street there is where the Holiday Inn was. And it had a little pond behind it. And I do remember going there to swim, but I don't remember coming up here and Boy, the first thing I think, uh, you know, when the buildings aren't here, the foundation sure looks small. And they've just kind of scraped this down to the foundation. I don't, I'm not sure how much was left remaining after the fire. But I guess they just decided it wasn't worth rebuilding. And a lot, of course, a lot of these hotels that were really beautiful in the 60s and 70s, a lot of them have kind of become, uh, you know, they're, they're hurting for business, so they rent to transients, and it's not like families are staying at some of these places. Wow, the pool is pretty nasty. Looks like they try to clear some of the trees. Wow, that pool is wretched. Well, you get a pretty good idea. It looks like, 
like somebody might have been camping up here at some point. But it's sad, really. It's a the sad decline of a once really beautiful hotel. So I know it's a short video, but I just kind of wanted to come up here and see what was going on. They'd had it blocked off for a while. There's 65. So I really appreciate anybody that takes time to watch these videos, shares my interest in uh, looking back. And, you know, if you enjoy the videos, please hit like. Uh, feel free to share them. Really appreciate comments and getting conversation going about some of these old places, especially from people that are older than me and remember it as the Heritage House. Um, and, of course, the ultimate compliment is to subscribe. So thanks so much. Have a great day, Birmingham. Cheers.